YouTube. What's up, guys? Happy Sunday. Hope you guys had a great, blessed day today. Uh, just went out to dinner with the family, had a good workout this morning, and I'm just chilling for the rest of the night. So I'll be going to uh, bed in about a few hours, get ready for a nice, excuse me, a nice uh, day tomorrow and upcoming week. So anyway, um, being in the service industry, I always have, um, especially like new cleaners, new entrepreneurs always reach out to me for advice, tips, you know, things like this. And uh, one of the guys was telling me, you know, I talked to a guy today and he said, Courtney, um, I don't have a lot of money to market my business. So what are some of the other things that I can do? And, you know, I told him, I said, you know, there's a lot of these free sites. There's a lot of these, uh, you know, you can do things online, but it takes time to build it up. Uh, for example, any of you guys that search Google, you go to a certain part of Google, it's called Google My Business, and you'll see companies that have ratings. Um, that's free, but again, depending on the industry that you're in, it can take, you know, months and even years um, to build that up so people can visually see it and that can bring in some opportunity. But my thing is this, as we was talking and, 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 and you know, engaging in the conversation, I can tell that he almost had like a mindset of like not spending money in his business. And I've seen this for years. And I explained to this man, I said, let me tell you something. You might not spend the money, but you're going to spend the time. And at the end of the day, you're going to spend something. And this is, what, this is why I'm sharing this message in this video. Because I've seen this for years. I've heard this language for years where people get in business and they listen to other people. You know, there's nothing wrong with listening to other people. I, I, I don't know everything, okay? I'm, I'm a, I'm a um, walking sponge myself each and every day trying to learn, okay? Trying to absorb information, valuable information. Even if, And I'm the type of person, uh, I don't mind paying for it because you value it more when you pay for it. Um, and usually you get a better insight. Like for example, Myron Golden. I'm a big follower of Myron Golden. So I've taken three of his courses okay I've taken other people's courses and classes because I want this information and one thing about it is even if I pick up one thing that that's, that's valuable and can help me in my life and my business to me it's well well worth the money okay um but I was telling this guy I said man you have to realize you know especially when you're starting a business you're gonna pay you might not pay with money but you're going to pay with your time, okay? You know, like, for example, I see guys that say, Hey, Courtney, I can't I can't market my business online. I can't market on Google because, again, I'm short on funds. Well, what can you do? Well, you might can go to neighborhoods. You might can go drive around and, uh, you know, present your business to uh, business people and, you know, businesses and restaurants and hotels and maybe walk around neighborhoods and put up door hangers and flyers. But guess what? It's still costing you money, okay? Because, and not only is it costing you money, it's also costing you time. But what I told this guy is, you want to get to the point where it, it, it's, it's, you want to you wanna simplify your business. You want to make your business, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Uh, efficient. You want to make your business, you don't want to use so much of your time just to keep your business going you know you know you go walk around the neighborhood putting out flyers that's not easy work okay you might yeah you might have a couple hundred dollars in flyers but look at the time that it's taking you to do it where you can might run a facebook ad or some google ads and not have to you know walk around neighborhoods and those same people that you're trying to target they will come find you because we all know online it's the way to go now. When you want something, you Google it, you go to Yelp, you go to Facebook, you go to you go to Instagram, uh, you go to some type of online source. If, if it's not a referral or recommendation or word of mouth, you are going online, okay? So that's the thing, guys, is that just, to re just remember, in business, man, this is one thing I had to learn myself. There's no shortcut. When you try to shortcut yourself in business, you usually end up 
going 10 steps back and you got to start all over again or even worse sometimes you might have to you know uh, uh, you might go out of business you know and that's just the reality so my thing is this going into business okay it can it, it's definitely going to have its challenges and if you are short on funds to promote your business okay to put your business out there in front of the crowd it can even be more challenging but you do have to find a way to get your business out there of course you can do a whole lot better when you have funds but if you don't have funds or you're short on funds you do have to get creative now i will like i told this guy i'm a people's person i get a lot of compliments in my business from my personality so if you don't have funds to market your business online and you have to go out here and meet people and you, and you have to introduce yourself okay you have to be a people's person you have to know how to talk to people because if you don't you you're going to be wasting your time and your money okay so this is the thing that we have to understand in business okay who are we how do people how are these my, my prospects and my potential customers how are they going to view me see what i'm saying a lot of times we just jump into something and just think it's just gonna just just happen for no reason just because we're in business oh it's just going to happen and unfortunately guys it just doesn't work that way all right so that's the thing always remember no matter if you pay with money or you pay with time or sometimes you're both like when i take these online classes guys i'm paying with both i'm trading my money for the information and then i also have to use my time to soak up and listen to the information okay so but 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 at the end of the day you're going to pay regardless.